it's quite easy to make your own electrophorus. All you need is a foam insulation board or a piece of styrofoam, but the foam insulation board seems to work best. You can buy an 8 foot by 4 foot piece of this insulation board at Lowe's, Menards, or Home Depot for about $15, and out of it you can cut 32 square foot uh, boards to use. You charge them by rubbing them with fur or wool. So as I rub this with fur or wool, the board is picking up electrons from the fur, making the board negatively charged. Now to complete construction of the electrophorus, we need a styrofoam cup that will be our insulating handle, and we will just simply tape it to a metal pie pan. So this aluminum pie pan, which you can buy at any grocery store, Meyer, Walmart, that's our conducting metal plate with an insulating handle that we can pick up so that we don't discharge it. I rub the foam board with my fur, making the foam board negatively charged. Now the pie pan is neutral, but when I set the pie pan on top of the board, electrons in the bottom of the pie pan are repelled by the board. They move up to the rim of the pie pan, making the rim of the pie pan negatively charged. When you touch it, you get quite a shock as those electrons come out of the rim and into your finger. Well, since the electrophorus now lost electrons, it's positively charged. If you pick it up and move it away from the board, this positively charged electrophorus will attract electrons from the closest thing to it. So if you bring your finger close by, you'll get shocked again as it pulls electrons from your finger into the pie pan. It's now neutral because it pulled electrons back in. We can repeat this process over and over again. You pull electrons out, you put them back in. You pull them out, you put them back in. You pull them out, you put them back in.